Assalamu alaikum dear students in the previous class we have discussed photosynthesis and today our topic is intake of CO2 and water by plants in photosynthesis okay here the topic means uh, that how plant use CO2 CO2 sorry how the plant use CO2 and how the plant absorb water and how these two are used in photosynthesis Actually, uh, plant absorb water by root, and root is also called underground part. While the CO2 is diffused from the environment to the plant, especially to the leaves by a pore present in the lower epidermis that force is known as stomata okay how the plant absorb water so actually plant absorb water by root hair cell root hair cell for example where hum dekhe so there are two parts of the plant one is known as aerial part the aerial part ho gaya while this one while this one is underground part if you study the structure of the root and root hair cell सो so, अगर हम ये ले ले सो so, हमारे पास ये हो गया रूट और रूट हेयर ओके वट इज रूट हेयर हेयर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर अराइज ऑन द रूट इज नाउन एज रूट हेयर सेल इफ यू स्टडी द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द सेल इन द रूट हेयर सेल सो एक्चुअली द सेल आर अरेंज इन दिस मैनर एंड द रूट हेयर सेल आर डायरेक्टली कम इन कंटेक्ट विद वट वेट द साइल पार्टिकल सपोज दिस इज साइल पार्टिकल Inside the soil particle, the water is present, but the transport of water depends upon on the concentration of water present in the soil particle. For example, the soil soil particle have high concentration of water as compared to the cell of the root hair cell. So, definitely, the water will move from the soil particle toward the root hair cell. When the water will move from the soil particle toward the root hair cell so inside the root hair cell concentration of water is increased as compared to this one cell so due to this method the water will move from this cell to this cell and it make a continuous path and the water will move from this from this method toward the what the stem and reach to the leaves when the water reach to the leaves so here the gut cell are present okay what is gut cell suppose this is upper epidermis of the leaves okay this is lower epidermis ep means upper dermis means layer these two cell which make the structure of the what stomata these two cell are called what gut cell when the gut cell absorb water so it swell up and a pore is uh, produced between the gut cell that pore is known as stomata okay in the absence of water the gut cell are present in this manner during this condition the gut cell are termed as placid cell murja hua the plant may there is a deficiency of water then the plant can't open the stomata because the water are lost in the form of transpiration then it cause wilting so they are why in harsh condition the plant close your stomata to prevent loss of water evaporation so actually uh, while when the plant absorb water so it open the stomata because each and every cell absorb water in this manner so when the gut cell absorb water so here a pore is produced that pore is known as stomata when the stomata are open so the co2 is diffuses from the environment toward the mesophyll cell okay what is mesophyll cell meso 
fail cell cell present between the upper and lower epidermis is known as mesophyll cell also known as photosynthetic cell where photosynthesis occur in which the chloroplast is present so when the co2 is diffused from the environment toward the mesophyll cell so it combine with the wet surface of mesophyll cell and diffuse in toward the stroma of the chloroplast and inside the stroma means the co2 combined with the water in the stroma and form what glucose so okay how the co2 diffuse from the environment toward the what uh, the leaves so actually it depends upon on the par partial pressure of C uh, co2 okay what is partial pressure Okay. Simply, uh, we can say that the pressure of one gas is in a mixture of gases is known as partial pressure. Okay, in mixture of gases, pressure of one gas is called partial pressure. So. If the partial pressure is higher in the environment as compared to the leaves, so then the CO2 diffuses from the environment toward the stomata. The stomata is open, and the opening and closing of stomata depend upon on the intensity of uh, light as well as absorption of water. So, uh, when the partial pressure of CO2 is higher in the environment as compared to the leaves, so the CO2 is diffused toward what the leaves by the stomata, and inside the plant, the oxygen is also liberated inside the what environment, which is produced during the respiration. Okay, how the plant absorb water? So actually, plant mostly absorb water by two type of transport. What is known as active transport, and second one is passive transport. So type है. But mechanism अगर हम study करें, so actually uh, the water will move by osmosis. Absorption of water that how the plant absorb water. So normally there are two types of transport. First is known as active transport. While the second one is known as passive transport. Passive transport. Okay, first what is transport? So actually, the movement of material to the cell and from the cell is called transport. Hair material means gases, food particle, and water. Moment of material like gases, maybe CO2, O2, other gases, food, water to the cell and from the cell is called transport. Okay, what is active transport? Moment of material. Moment of material from a lower concentration to high concentration by the use of energy is called what active transport. Well, a moment of material from higher concentration to lower concentration by what? Without energy. Without energy. So types ho gai. And now what is the actual mechanism of transport of water in plants? So actually it takes place by osmosis. Osmosis. Okay, what is osmosis? A moment of material from high concentration area to lower concentration area by a semi-permeable membrane. All of you know about the semi-permeable membrane. Semi means half. Membrane which allow to sort specific type of molecule is called what semi permeable membrane so normally 
in the root hair cell, the molecule move by osmosis, while the diffusion are mostly used for the gases. So actually, normally uh, in the plant, the water will move by what? By osmosis. Okay, normally, uh, if we study the transport of water, so it will move from what? From lower concentration to higher concentration. If we study the transport of food in plants, so actually the molecular food move from higher concentration to lower concentration. While the water will move from lower to higher concentration. So actually, अगर हम देखें जाइलम को बट समाइम द प्लान आल्सो ट्रांसपोर्ट मालिक्यूल बाय एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट फॉर एग्जांपल इन सम टाइम द प्लान हैव हाई कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ आइंस साल्ट्स एट्सेट्रा बट इट रिक्वायर मोर एंड मोर साल्ट्स सो एक्चुअली एट दैट टाइम द साइल हैव लो कंसंट्रेशन of iron as compared to the plant but the plant absorb more and more ions by what by active transport therefore we can say that the moment of material from the region of lower concentration to the region of higher concentration by the expenditure or use of energy is called what active transport while the moment of material from higher to lower concentration by uh, without energy is called passive transport so normally the molecules of water move by active transport sometimes passive and by what osmosis okay this was all about the transport of co2 and water inshallah in the next class we will discuss role of chlorophyll and sunlight in detail okay thank you